Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today I want to go over the London Silver Bullet on Friday, August 4th. This is NFP today, but I want to show you that there was a good setup on London Silver Bullet Hour. So let's get started. When we see at the beginning, we see a sell side liquidity has been taken. It's, oh, let's see if I can do this here right. It stops doing that. It's right there. Yesterday's low, an afternoon low. So sell side's been taken. What do we see? Price comes up. And this would be a market structure shift for me because these are all relatively equal lows or they're equal lows right there. So market structure shift comes up. We have displacement here. We have a fair value gap right there with a volume imbalance, right? So consequent encroachment is really a powerful spot where we'd like to see it come on, especially on a big, big range like this. I wouldn't take it right at the start. I'd want to come to about quant consequent encroachment, especially with a volume imbalance right there. I'd like to see it come in a little bit more. So we could take our buy right here on this candle. We'd go right there, but let's actually move this up. Let's go to consequent encroachment right there. One tick below the low. And then we're still targeting these highs right here. Let's just go three to one. That's fine. We target this would be the first drawn liquidity. So we can actually move it up here to go nine hand nine points. It's fine right there. You also get another chance. It does fill in this fair value gap right here. But you see where price struggles, right? I want you to see this. Price struggles between the new week opening gap and the midnight opening price. I mean, look at the tick right here. So right in here, I would be reducing my stop at least probably to halfway when it starts struggling right here because I know that that is a point where it could be reversing. Okay? So just being proper risk management, I like to minimize my risk as much as I possibly can. And structure right now is telling me, hey, it is struggling to get above this right price actually comes back down into the fair value gap right almost where we entered and then it hits it again and then it skyrockets goes right through okay and we get our target at the end which is actually right here we get our target we hit our nine points but i just want to show you that yes you have a full handle right here and normally i take partials at 60 percent and then i leave a runner and move my stop to break even but when price is showing me that it has, it is one, two, three, four, five times it's in two wicks, it's respecting the the midnight open and the new week opening gap. It's struggling to get past them. I'm reducing my risk because my chances of it coming down have lowered. Still a, a good trade set up. It's just I'm minimizing my risk at that point. Not taking it to break even. I'm just reducing it. Maybe it's a point or a handle or whatever, however you want to do yours. I do mine about 50%. And if it takes me out, I've reduced my risk. I'm happy with that. If it reduce, if it takes me out and it takes me out there, I'm fine with that because I've reduced my risk. Okay, that's a win. I'm not taking the full risk if it comes out. But when I see price action like this, I'm reducing my risk. And then if I got 60%, I would have taken a partial and would not break even anyway. But we got our trade set up. I'll move this this back to where it was and show you that is your London silver bullet session for Friday, August 4th, NFP day.